Today I made zobo for the first time in my entire life and when I tell you it was so easy to make, I mean it was so easy to make. So come with me, let me teach you how to make zobo because mm, professional chef in the building. Hello! Thanks to my amazing followers on TikTok and a YouTube video that I watched, this was quite easy to make. So the first thing I did was to wash my hibiscus leaf and when I was done I put it in a pot and I also peeled the back of my pineapple and put this also for whatever reason it is. I don't know why we're putting back of pineapple inside Zobo, but that's what they said we should do. So that's what I did. I also peeled some ginger. I didn't know the correct measurement, so I just did as the spirit leads. Pour this into it. Some cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick. I don't know the English. Anyways, pour this into it and then I added water. The video that I saw on YouTube said I should make sure the water covers the pot. So I made sure the water covered the pot or basically covered like the zobo and everything so that's exactly what i did i completely forgot that i got some cloves but later i remembered and then i put the cloves in it and i covered my pot and put it on low heat to cook for 30 minutes according to the video that i saw 30 minutes so while that was happening i went straight to my pineapple now i had to dice my pineapple into smaller bits and i also got two apples and i cut all of this but at a point i felt like this was not enough so i added small apple again just a little bit of one apple you know and then i put everything in my blender and went straight to blending <laughs> This was giving smoothie vibes. I'm like, ah, if only I had banana, you know, with some yogurt and just, ah. Sadly, I didn't have the white cloth, that transparent thing that I usually used to sieve. So I just used my regular, you know, and it wasn't really great. It didn't do a great job. At this point, my zobo leaves were already doing shoko, 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 shoko. But it was not 30 minutes yet, so I wasn't doing anything until it was 30 minutes. Then I saved it and allowed the whole thing to just cool down. I looked at the color. I was like, oh, it's giving red. It's giving red. I was so happy and proud of myself that, ah, I'm making zobo for the first time. Hey, Nagoyera. When I allowed my zobo to cool down, I went straight to making plantain porridge. So let me put you guys through the process. I put my oporoko pot hot water inside it. Then I also had some Titus fish. I poured hot water inside it. In fact, the process of this plantain porridge is upside down. Anyway, this is the plantain itself. I diced it into smaller bits, but not so small. I washed it because my hands were dirty, so I thought it was dirty. And then I put it inside the pot and put some water in it. Just a little bit of water, but this water ended up being too much. Blended my pepper and my tomatoes, but very very little tomatoes but more of pepper and then i went straight to my crayfish i put my crayfish in the frying pan because i wanted to remove the what did they call this thing whether now i don't know the body parts yeah? and i had to blow the whole thing out so i could get like a very clean crayfish you guys look at what it was looking like like is this crayfish not clean forget is this crayfish not clean i rushed it also then went straight to washing my ugu at this point i realized that this ugu might be too much for the plantain porridge so i had to reserve some then i poured everything all this mixture into the plantain when it was ready and i just put two cubes of mangi not chicken and you know everything was just sharp 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 because i was tired at this point little bit of palm oil then i put the ugu stirred everything together i mean plantain porridge is quite easy to make and i could not do like a detailed video because i was exhausted I leftover vegetable and also i said you know well let me just do small ugu stew which i don't know how it to come out i shall have the palm oil pour the pepper mix everything into it put the remaining fish the remaining poroko luckily for me i had this fish also i put some of this in it just mixed everything together like this was like a sharp 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 cooking because i was tired just put one cube of maggi nut chicken like i love nut chicken so much i don't know why allow this to boil for a while because the water needs to dry but you guys i didn't ever allow the water to dry and i added too much salt i think this salt was too much anyway i should have stirred everything together covered it up a bit then later it looked like okay the water is getting better at this point once you see that oil showing you know it's time to add your vegetable so i added the vegetable in it stirred the whole thing together i mean it was looking okay then i went back to my zobo poured my blended pineapples the one that i've sieved into the zobo mix me mix 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 and oh my god it was giving red it was giving red oh and it tasted nice i'm so proud of myself anyway this is what the vegetable soup looked like or stew or i don't know the small soup shah and then this is what the plantain porridge looked like and my zobo i was able to dish it into three different 75 p i'm saying rubbish 75 cl pack well you guys what did i do today let me know in the comment section what could i have done differently love you all so much and bye